Today I will show you how to create a landing page link for your product, music, or podcast so you can send whoever clicks on the link to whatever different store or platform or service you want to so then they have a list and they can choose so you have one link and then no matter what device or service they use they can find the service that's right for them it's very useful it's called pivot it's on smarturl.it and I will show you how to do this now before we get started it's important to mention that smart URL severely limits your features if you're not signed in I am signed in already but signing in is really helpful because then they can verify your email and they allow you to do kind of different custom URLs and it really helps to sign in whenever you're doing any smart URL activity. So let's start with right here we have the different types of product page. Now I'm not going to talk about all these right here, I'm mainly going to talk about the standard pivot page and later on in the video I will quickly overview the podcast pivot page. Now Spotify pre-save is useful if you are very um, interactive on Spotify. It helps them uh, save your song or album to Spotify. And the podcast pivot page is good for podcasts. It shows your latest podcast. You can feature an episode of your podcast and also add a description and many, many links. But we're just going to stick to the standard pivot page, which is mainly for iTunes products or um, music uh, on other platforms. So let's start with adding the iTunes product URL and you could just add a list of different URLs that aren't iTunes and leave out an iTunes URL but it's just a lot easier just to at least have an iTunes URL. So I put the URL I have in here and it just it takes a minute loads. So now I have the kind of preset it kind of reads the link and gets different data from it so as you can see the titles are already laid out now this doesn't always happen sometimes depending on what type of media you're putting in there it will leave the product title to blank and um, if that's so you can add whatever you want to like here it, it adds the artist name and uh, over here it has the project name and then it automatically adds the image unless you want to add your own image it's best just to keep it as is and also another useful feature is that you can add custom platform URLs so if someone goes to this page they can also learn more about you your music or your product your business whatever it may be you can add your Facebook Twitter Instagram URLs website URL patreon even it's very very useful now I'm going to go down here and as you can see here this is the this is the product link just for Apple Music and the different product links for the Apple side of things are automatically generated if you add an iTunes product link. These different links now are all automatically here they're set up for countries so it'll take people to their individual country stores you have someone in a different country they can click on the same link and go directly to their iTunes store for their country and this is automatically generated and the same for iTunes so basically you, you already let me show you the example already have a tab for iTunes and Apple Music now if you want to add more which is probably going to be the case you can press the add new retailer button and just keep on adding all the links now you kind of have to do this custom you have to do this manually I don't see that there's a way to do it automatically so you choose your um, your service whether it be Google Play Music or it be Spotify which of course is very big and you, you can also choose from different types of uh, service you can choose like whether it's streaming on Spotify it, or you can choose like streaming on Amazon or you're buying it on Amazon so there's a lot of different options now we're gonna move on from the links and this is customizing and actually looking at the real page now something to note here since I'm doing an iTunes product I do have this little player built in and um, this is customizable if you if you want to change it say if you want this player to be Spotify based instead of iTunes based it basically automatically plays this and also and also you can have a YouTube video displayed 
instead of an audio player. So there's many options here for the audio and video, video player. Sometimes they can be a little more advanced features, but you can also do it easily as well. And then you can also customize colors, which is helpful, especially if you have a unified brand. It's really, it's really helpful that you can customize all the colors so it's very consistent and also so they can match your album artwork or your brand or whatever you're displaying. The next is a product image settings. Again, it's just another visual customization you can do for the size depending on what device they're on. It, it, it's Usually you don't need to mess with that. I usually just let most of these settings go. Then the background settings, so like the tint, the blur, the opacity, stuff like that. Again, these are mainly visual. I think it looks perfectly fine if you just let it pretty much the, the default. It usually looks pretty good. Then offers. Now the offers is, uh, see this right here, this little sponsored banner right there. You can choose to turn that on or off. And um, it's like a little sponsored banner. I, I don't see why keep it off or I, I don't see why keeping it off is really that bad. Um, because you know if you're an artist and you're on Apple Music you might as well get some people to join Apple Music and also these buttons right here will help you display the different types of music. it emulates different devices and shows you like this is what a mobile device will look like for this particular pivot page now over here this is where you get to kind of the more uh, details of identification so I can add the custom URL here custom alias so that could be the title of the project, it could be a multitude of things, preferably very unique, or not. Um, not everyone always does it, because I'm not sure how many people tend to read stuff like that at the end of links. I, I just like to, so at least I can keep track of what links are going to what, but it's not necessary. And then over here, there's something interesting, actually I kind of looked up real uh, quick right before doing this video I just just noticed this this is a customizable shareable content information and what does that mean that means that like would you have like a Twitter card or a like a Facebook um, thumbnail I think you have the, the information on it so it displays usually the picture of the link displays the title link and sometimes it'll display some sort of description or excerpt well that's what you can do here so this here you can add a title now it defaults to the title you've already set for your pivot page but you can add it to be something eye-catching like you know buy such and such product or you can also the link body is basically it's gonna you can add a description you want to keep it nice and short here a description that will be in the Twitter card it will be in the Facebook um, thumbnail so people will be able to learn more about your link and your pivot page before they even click on it and you want to draw them in that way. So now over here, this is just all kind of enterprise stuff. I, I don't have an enterprise account and it's, it's not necessary to have an effective pivot page. And so that is how to use the pivot page for your music to spread your music and spread your message all over social media so no matter who clicks on it they can find the right link for them and figure out more about you and your business and your brand and all together I hope that you have learned from this portion of the video now stick around I have a bonus tutorial at the end of this video about how to do the podcast for this uh, to create a pivot page for your podcast Okay, real quick, I'm going to run you past how to do a podcast pivot page on Smart URL. So if you have a podcast, and um, especially a lot of artists now are doing podcasts to kind of diversify their brand image, and even if you're not an artist, it's a really useful feature just to have, again, your links all in one place. So you can send um, whoever clicks on the link, they can choose from whatever service, whatever platform, or whatever marketplace they want to get your content from and this one is the podcast pivot page so what you can do is you can actually you don't even need a link you can search for your podcast and this is actually really useful you don't even even need to get a link or anything and then you can just search for my podcast that I see I'm right there now here's the here's the really cool thing you can do you can add a call to action so you add like a button 
for them to say join your Patreon or join your your community. If you have like a podcast community, or if you just want them to just listen to a certain episode, or you want them to join some exclusive club as part of your podcast. And here's a really really cool part, and that is you can actually add frequency to how often you create episodes or or do episodes and publish them. So this is really, really useful. If you want to add a featured episode to your pivot page, you want to go to view episode list, and then you want to go to select a custom featured episode. So say you have a trailer, you have a um, just an episode that you thought was just one of your best and you want to feature that, or maybe something that you're promoting with the link, for example. Say the link, it's really, if you're say marketing is, I have this episode, like I have this interview with this person on this episode, press the link, and then you can just promote that, and then the other stuff can kind of take backseat to your featured episode. And then of course you have the social media URLs like before like before with a artist page, add all the URLs you want, you can add all of them so they can get in touch with you and figure out you know, what your podcast is about from your social media accounts provider and you can add all the links you want so here's all the customization here again it's pretty much the same um, for the as for the music and the other products so it's pretty much the same so I'm not going to go through all this one thing though that I would definitely recommend is looking at this is a highlight featured episode so you can do this so say you have like a landmark episode maybe your trailer episode you can highlight that episode and it will become a big part of your pivot page so that is how you create a pivot page for your podcast hope you enjoyed that bonus episode i'm chase carrington subscribe to my channel be sure to comment below if you have any questions about this tutorial or any suggestions for other tutorials on this topic or even not i'd love to hear suggestions for creating new tutorials again i'm chase carrington and thank you for watching